Good morning, everybody. It's a brisk San Diego morning down. <coughs> no, I don't smoke. <coughs> hmm. Oh, I brought that on. It's uh, 50 something degrees this morning. So I'm waiting for the heater to kick in. And it's actually only 6.45. I got up. Eh. Not in time to do my full morning routine, but enough to get up and get to the first rummage sale before it opens. It's 7 o'clock, which is local. It's just down uh, beyond those trees. I have to go around to get there. And I've already saw on Facebook that Catherine's up in her new treasure mobile. Congratulations, Catherine. It's kind of foggy in her area. I'm sure she's heading north. There's a few rummage sales up in Vista and Rancho Penasquitos. But I don't like feel like spending the gas, so I'm staying in my neck of the woods here. A lot of the red dots on the map. And like I said, one of them is a rummage sale. We'll start to seven, and that's gonna be our first stop. And we'll hit all those garage sales and then uh, the swap meet. And I'll come home and rest. Maybe do a little bit of listing. I haven't listed a lot in the past couple days and it shows. At least I'm getting a sale day. You know. I've actually knock on dashboard. I've had a sale every single day since uh, maybe last August. At least one sale a day. So I'm happy about that and I'm grateful for that. Always gotta look on the bright side of what you're grateful for. Even if you don't have sales something to be grateful for. You know, I miss the days that I have five to ten sales a day, but I'm grateful for the one or two that I do have. It's keeping me going. So, yeah, I'll get home and list, and i got to take a shower. I have a photo session at three o'clock, which will be the last one in my old studio. I'm kind of uh, sad about that. And then I'll probably come home and rest and list and just relax with the family. Because tomorrow after the swap meet, there'll be lots of work at the new studio getting in shape. And my family is taking off for Lake Tahoe on Tuesday, leaving me behind again. They're going to visit my daughter, her daughter, and uh, sister for spring break. So it should be interesting. A little bachelor party pad at my house. Oh, where am I going? Okay. So I had a video earlier that I never published talking about budgets and visions. Uh, we sat down. We're going to start doing family meetings once a week and putting together a budget that we really want to stick to to work on getting our debts paid off this year. Of course, we won't be able to get them all paid off, but we want to get them paid down this year. We're trying to get to that point when we're out scrambling each month for money to pay bills, but rather than we have the money to do what we want, what we want, if we want to go do something or go out to eat, or we go out to eat too much. When I say go out, I mean grab Chinese or grab Mexican, but and then we're going to have like a uh, five-year vision. At least, I don't know how much they're going to contribute or, or play along, but I want to do a five-year vision on how I see myself, my family, my fan finances, how I build the house. The house has been kind of in shambles. We haven't really kind of kept it up. I want to get it back in shape. And then break that down into year visions and goals, and then break that each year down into monthly, weekly, daily goals that all work towards the big vision. So that's what we're doing. We sat down this week and kind of went over the budget and figured out how much we need and we need more. <laughs> so it's time to work harder. Hopefully with the new studio, if business keeps going at least as the pace it is, if not improves, then you know we're going to be saving a couple hundred bucks a month off the rent fee. That will help. And I'm looking at other ways to cut costs. Live frugally for at least a year until we can get bills down. 
frugal. That's a cool word, frugal. Frugal rock. I don't know. I'm rambling, but that's why I kind of want to instill on people to set a long-term vision and then break it up into shorter-term goals to help you get that reach that vision. And just keep that vision in mind at all times. Another garage sale down there. I can see a sign for it. almost at this one. I'll be a little bit early. I wonder if all the ones I go to that I'm late, they let people in early. So I wonder if they'll let me in early. There's the Vietnamese Buddhist temple. I've been there once. I want to attend there a couple more times. Get a feel for it. Should be at this church right here on the right. Santee Christian Church. See lots of cars. I don't see much of a rummage sale. Maybe this wasn't, this isn't like a slightly oversized garage sale. Now they're bringing tables out, so that's a good thing. I see, all I see is clothes and Christmas stuff. I always pick the duds. One of these days I seriously am gonna follow you around, Catherine, and go north. I just don't like driving and I don't like wasting the gas. I'm gonna go look. Wanna come with me until I shut you off? Nothing. Junk. I mean, you have a box of old faded games that they were trying to get full price for. But the funny thing is, this lady in the white truck up here to the left, I recognize her. She's a regular seller at the swamp meet and she grabbed a bunch of stuff. So um, I'll be seeing, I talked to her real quick, I'll be seeing her tomorrow. She got a box of railroad, uh, model railroad cars and stuff that looked like could be worth something. But that, besides that, nothing. So I'm just going to zigzag in some, get my belt on, zigzag some garage sales, I guess. There's all the other, there's a couple of rummage sales, but they're way west. I already started. There's one, two at eight o'clock. Um, I have lots of work to do, so I, and I still have things to list. So I'm gonna just stick to my little neck of the woods here. Save some gas, which I need to get some. And uh, yeah, that's about it. So um, we'll check in a little bit later and see if I've gotten lucky. It's that song, Gotta Get Lucky. I should be playing that. Anyway, I hope you guys have a good Saturday out there. Get out there and you're probably, well, most of you are already East Coast are probably already out there. Warming up out there for you, I hope, so you can have a few garage sales to go to. We seem to get a little bit more each week. I just wish, uh, let's go this way. They would get more bountiful. We shall see. I'm gonna put the sun in your eyes, sun rising. Let's see. And then I'm gonna check off for a little while. I hit a few and I'll check back in with you guys in a little bit. Talk to you a bit. Well, I had a couple garage sales and I went to the swamp meet and um not a whole lot today. Um not a big deal. Got this weird party game, read my lips. For a buck, it goes about 18 on Amazon. Got our remote for 50 cents, Radio Shack remote. It goes for about 10 bucks, no big deal. Got another Daewoo remote. It looks like another air conditioner remote. 50 cents goes for like 12, 13 bucks. And then back there, if you can't see it, I got a box of baby rice cereal, a case of it. Uh, 11 boxes and it goes for about 17 to 20 bucks to a two pack version fulfilled on Amazon with no FBAers. Expiration date is a year from now, so good there. And I haven't sent in a lot of grocery lately, so I hope I'm still engaged. Otherwise, I'll just merge and fulfill it. 
and then um, got another game back there for a buck. Sells for like 18. The big thing I bought for myself was I got a soda stream machine. Sorry, Debbie. Debra. Um, it's not the it's one of the cheaper plastic ones, but new they're still 80 bucks or so. And I got I paid 15 for this. It has a large oh, I don't want this thing. A large um, CO2 bottle. And then it comes with three of the little fill-up bottles. Maybe clean and I even got a, I want this thing? Yeah, why not? A uh, thing of uh, cream soda flavor, which I probably won't use. I want to get more of the natural flavors than the syrupy, sugary flavors. So I've been looking for one. There was one I actually wanted to buy new, made by KitchenAid, but it was like 180 bucks. So I'll use this for a while, see if I like it. If I like it, I'll get the uh, bigger one down the road. I figure uh, I buy my uh, Perrier or soda water a dollar for, for I think it's a liter, you know, a bottle. I'm at my uh, liquidation store and I'm always running out and going through it. Um, a medium size CO2 will do 60 liters, so that's 60 bucks worth. It only costs like 15 bucks for that size of CO2. The size CO2 in there now, I think, is like a 240 liter one. So, over the long run, it should save me water, uh, money on my water. And, and I'll drink water plain if I have to, but I really would rather have carbonated water or, uh, you know, lemon in it or something, strawberries infused. But I like the carbonation. Is this pepper drive? It is pepper drive, so I'm going to switch to my map so I can figure out where I'm going. I can go hit some of these. There's a bunch of garage sales in this little area here. El Cajon. This is where I usually get our Christmas trees. I guess you can't see it, but um, that's a uh, live Christmas tree farm. When we used to get live Christmas trees, that's where I get them. Cut down your own. Now I use the fake one from the studio. Saves money, saves a tree. Oh, there's a yard sale this way. I'm gonna go look this way first. A sign there. A sign. A sign of the times. I'm babbling. Okay, I'm gonna go look for some garage sales in this area. I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. I've discovered something. Driving in this car, I really need to get, or I probably have them at home already, but put two totes or bins back there to put stuff in because when I stack things up back there and I step on the brakes they tend to end up in the front very very disturbing oh, come on green light yeah I don't know where that oh there it is mouse trap ended up all the way up in the front here so um I wasn't going to do another one until I got home, but I did hit three more garage sales, and on all three I found something, so that's pretty good. Uh, two lanes must turn right. This is going to merge, so let me in, little dude. Um, first one, I picked up a Manavox, Manavox VCR DVD combo unit. No remote, so I can't sell it on Amazon. No, I kind of want it twice. But um, even without the remote, it has sell, sold, completed for $55 on eBay. A couple of them. And I picked it up for two bucks, so I'm happy about that. And a recent sold, so it tells me it's selling and it hasn't been sitting forever. Um, the next stop I picked up, and I'll probably show you all this stuff when I get home. But um, I don't know if you can see it back there. I picked up, it's a Cuisinart blender attachment. So it goes on a blender and turns your blender into a food processor. And it's a pretty shade of red. I should probably get my map out because I don't know where I'm going. Well, anyway, I got to pick that up for a buck and it sells for 45 bucks. I'll show you stuff when I get home. I got to switch to my... I got to switch to my map and figure out where I'm going to the next one. I'm home. 
Yes, it is now wife beater tank top weather here in San Diego. Actually, it's beyond that. Actually, cooling off a little bit. It was 90s yesterday and the day before, a little minor heat wave. Now we're in high 80s, and we're going to stay that way for the week, and then drop back to 70s next weekend. But show you what I got. Not a whole lot today, but I'll show you what it is. What I got yesterday, the day before. This is what I mentioned in my last video. That phone I got. It's already listed for like 35 bucks. I paid for a buck or something for it at that private sale. And today, I got this game. Ta -da! This is like the third one I've got. And this one, the pieces are, some are punched out, many are not punched out. So it's, like I said, only $15, $18 game. And used on Amazon. This is that uh, attachment I told you about, it's Cuisinart. Pretty red. Fits on a blender. Turns it into a food processor. Couple, saw a couple in there for $45, but the blade alone sells for $15. Has a foot pusher. Needs to be washed. So, uh, yeah, I'll probably list it up as whole first, then go, then I'll part it out after I clean it. Pay a buck for it. Um, I bought this kind of on a whim because I've been selling uh, Nerf magazines for anywhere from 10 to 20 bucks. This is a uh, super soaker magazine. You fill it with water. And I paid a buck for it, and I didn't really research it, but I'm hoping at least get ten bucks for it. So we'll see. And I found a pretty tomato plant, Romana tomato. One of the persons near here, a couple blocks away, has where I sell every other week. Now she goes around flex things and sells them every other week. But she also sells vegetable and worms so I got that for that we have a topsy-turvy out front this was the big find of the day and it's mine it's a soda stream it has a tank in it it's like one of the big tanks so um, bed back beyond you get through here this is a 130 liter tank so you know I if I bought that in Perrier, it'd be 130 bucks. I can get this tank uh, exchange for 14 bucks, and make all the Perrier water, or whatever I want to call it, that I need. Came with three of the bottles. Came with a uh, cream soda um, flavor. I don't know if I'm gonna drink this because it has sucralose in it. It says no high fructose corn syrup, but then it lists uh, sugar and sucralose and some other crap. I mean, I drink mine plain or uh, I put lemon, squeeze lemon in mine, and I'm happy. But I'm happy I can have soda water whenever I want. You know. What else did I get? What else did I get? Uh, this is a mousetrap game. I talked the lady into 55 cents for it. This is an older version. Instead of the standing up brain mice, it has the uh, little mice. They actually look like mice. But I don't care about that. It's missing the... It has marbles instead of the uh, ball bearings. The only thing I bought this for... I can find it without breaking it now. Was this lamp post. Because I have a mousetrap game that's complete, except for it has a broken lamp post. So now that one's complete, we can go to FBA. And the rest of this, I'll just part out. Yeah, and I already have listings for the, a lot of these parts, so I can just add quantities on. So, yeah, 55 cents, and my other one's complete. Ooh. This is the Manavox I mentioned. This is a DVD VCS forehead VHS. I paid two bucks for it. Um, has has solds for 55 plus on eBay. Um, no remote and the solds mentioned no remote, so I'm looking to get 50 bucks for that at least plus shipping. And I got a case of this Earth's Best Organic Whole Grain Rice Cereal for babies. As I mentioned earlier, it was going for eight about 18 bucks to 20 bucks for a two pack. Tupac. 
no other wrappers included. So um, that's Merchant Fulfilled. There was no FBA seller, so I'm going to throw it up Merchant Fulfilled now until I'm ready to send the FBA. And like I said, it's been a while since I've done groceries, so I've heard rumors that they were ungaining people that do not list in the category for a while. So. And then I stopped at Salvation Army and I found competition. Yep, there was a guy scanning books and he had a cart full of games. So I got there just a few minutes too late. But he passed on this game. Um, it's a sour apples to apples, target only edition. And it was going for like, I want to say 15 to 20 bucks in very good condition. And it looks complete. I'll have to count now that I realize it. There's no instructions. So I'll have to print instructions. Nope. I take the back. There's instructions in there. Yay. Maybe that's why he passed. He didn't look inside the bottom of the box. I don't know. But I paid about 50 for it. So, yay. And then if you saw my post on the Reseller Society, you saw the basket of remotes. I didn't buy all of them. But I did buy 14 of them that I, I went through and spent some time researching them. And found 14 that were good. Some of them had good batteries, so I was able to test like that one there. I was able to test it, and it works. Other ones, I'll have to put batteries in and find out. But, um, like this Mitsubishi goes for uh, twenty something bucks. I paid, and it works. Look at that. Let's get cleaned up. I paid fifty cents a piece for these. That one can't tell. Needs a battery replaced. And I just realized. I hope it fell off. I got one without a battery case. Now, I was tempted to offer, see if they'd offer me a, uh, an offer I can't refuse on the whole basket because even if um, some of them didn't work or whatever, or weren't worth money, um, battery covers sell by themselves on eBay. A lot of people are just missing their damn battery cover, and like a new one. So, I may go back and say, hey, I'll give you a couple bucks for the whole damn basket because they have a hard time selling remotes and really that is it like i said it wasn't that great of a day but i'm happy with what i got should turn good profit i'm happy with my soda stream i got an amazon package here um waiting for me let's open it up and see what it is it's probably one of my items i need to review i, re I review products for people on Amazon and on my blog, and I do video reviews as well. So if you subscribe to my channel, you may see some video reviews once in a while. So what am I reviewing today? I got some free air pillows. I got a box for shipping. And, oh, this is a uh, hydroponic LED grow light. I have a hydroponic channel as well. I grow hydroponics outside in the greenhouse. Uh, if you want to check that out, it's hide, it's in the description, the link, I think. It's hydroponicsiscool.com is the website, and hydroponics hydroponicsiscool is also the username for, I should have did an unboxing video, but isn't that cool? I'm going to grow something in here or in the garage. Maybe I'll do it in here. Put it in the grow light, put it in the corner there, and uh, grow a tomato plant or something. So, yeah, that's cool for my review. And then if I really don't want it, I can uh, resell it on eBay. That's what I do with some of the items. If I get them, like I don't need them, I just resell them. But that's it for today. I'm going to go test out my soda stream and relax for a bit. I have a session. I'm going to go early and do a little cleaning the old studio and then spend some of the evening at the new studio doing some flooring. So I may not make Catherine's, well, I'll put Catherine's uh, treasure hunting spree cast on the iPhone. While I'm doing my floor. So I'll still try to catch that this afternoon. So that's it. Be positive. Have a good weekend all. Hope you have found lots of sales. Hope your weather's improving and you're getting garage sales and I'll talk to you in the next video.